So today I'm giving you a video that doesn't have a very happy ending. So hello YouTubes! Um, today I am bringing you a video about my cuttlefish casting process. Cuttlefish. I... Let us not, dear friends, forget our dear friends, the cuttlefish. Flip a glorious little sausages. Well, let's get on to it. Prepping my cuttlefish for casting. So welcome to my workshop. It is, in fact, uh, my garden. Um, luckily it's not too cold today, or windy. And so we can prep a couple of cuttlefish for casting. Step one is, obviously, get some cuttlefish some sandpaper and flat one side of them because you get like this sort of hard side and then this sort of soft side and you want to flat two spots or flat two of these sides so that's what we're going to do you may have seen from that it's quite dusty hence mask i don't want to breathe any of that in also i'm being a bit extra careful i don't want to get it in my eyes i'm wearing some very big protection so it is very sunny very sunny indeed but let's get started so yes, you literally just take it, rub it, hard to do one handed, but basically yeah, just keep on rubbing it flat, you can see how flat that is, and then compared to this one, and then you need to do the same to this one, and then join them together. So there's that one done, I didn't have to do it too much because it's quite thick, do right here. And you want a bit of thickness to these, so it doesn't all sort of explode. So look at all that dust. Little. That's why we wear a mask. And then just give these two a quick rub together side by side to make sure they're flat against each other. Then you're ready to make your marks and do what you want to inside them. And so this is when you really need to think about your design. But like any other casting, you have to think about where you want to put one piece, where, where you want to put on the other piece if you just want one side done. Um, you need to think about, I also need to cut the tops off and put a hole in there for the um, wax, uh, not wax, the metal to go into. But that's all sort of really down to you for me, because I want to make a buckle. I've got this like little template. At least I'm making that again. So on one side I need a ring, and the other side I need a bar, but they need to line up. So I've got this like mini template on my finger, it's not a ring, if I can get it off. And so I'm going to roughly, because I'm doing two, two today, I'm going to do a fairly simple one, basically pop that in there, push that down, not all the way, pop that on top, I also need some locator pins, which I'm using chopsticks, John chopsticks, cocktail sticks. I'm going to push that in most of the way, then pop that on top. Then I'll get an impression of that on this one, a light one, in there. So I know where to put the bar. And then I'll have the rest of it in there. And then I'll play around with it a little bit, make it a bit more gnarly. So let's go for that and see how that comes out. And so this is the impression I got. Don't worry about this, I messed up. Mushing in my locator pin, which I actually got stuck in this side. But as you can see, I've got a slight impression from... Oops, where am I? On this one. So I'll do with the bar going across there somewhere. And I'm also going to dig this out a bit more, give it a bit more of a texture rather than a perfect circle. And so, once I've done that, I'll show you guys. And so that's the two sides done. Um, here's my bar. As you can see, I've messed up the roundness on that one a little bit. And we can also see all these lines. Now I'm hoping, and on this one as well, that they will let the air escape as the cast happens, and so it happens a bit more properly. And it doesn't just go up a certain way and get stuck. So that's what I'm hoping for anyway. But now I just need to stick them together. I've also cut my pouring holes. And then I just need to do that one. And we'll see, see how it goes. And so there's what it looks like ready to cast. There's the hole in the top. It's not a big hole, I admit, but we'll see how it goes. Now, ideally I'd cut grooves in the side of here, a couple of grooves in both sides, over here and on this side, and then wrap binding wire around it. 
However, I don't actually have any binding wire, so hopefully masking tape will do. Ooh, let's see. That seems to hold it quite well. Um, I'm going to wrap a bit more around it. And this is also the benefit of having those um, little cocktail stick locator pins in there, so that, that holds it roughly in the right place. I mean, I don't really mind if it moves a little bit. That's beauty of casting. And then hopefully you also get this lovely texture come out. One of the benefits of cuttlefish casting, for sure, is getting that texture. And so, I just got to do the other one, and then we'll be ready for casting, and I can find a gas tank. And now with this one as well, because I'm using two here, because this one's quite thin, but I could potentially just use this one on its own, cut it in half here, and then put this half on top of that half, because it's so thick. But hey... I'm just going to do roughly the same, and then I'll have two to cast just in case that one doesn't work very well. And so I hope you found that a little bit interesting. Um, I'm not doing it properly because obviously I don't have all the right stuff at the moment, but hopefully my jerry-rigged way will work. Still wearing my mask, so there's a lot of dusticles around. And yeah, I'm just going to get this other one done, and then hopefully I can cast it very soon. So I'll catch up when uh, that's done. Wish me luck. So I had a bit of brainwave with my second one, and that my first one, I put the bar going the opposite way, which means it's going to be harder to cast. This way it was directly in the sprue, so this bit should cast a lot better than in my other one. And also I left this side a lot more jaggedy. So hopefully this one works a lot better. So, welcome back guys. Um, today I'm going to try and do some casting. I hope the wind's not too strong, and you can hear me. But, first of all, I need to flip around. I need to reglaze my crucible because something got stuck in the bottom of it, so I need to put some more borax in there. Now I am having to work outside, and it is a little bit windy, so I'm hoping it works. But here's the torch. Let's see, hopefully this end will be not too big, but we'll find out. Also sits on there quite nicely. Now you might also see a massive dog bowl, but I'll come back to that if this all works out. If it's too windy, I guess I'll stop and do it another day. But you may notice that the lead goes off and disappears around the corner. Well, I thought it'd be clever to put the gas somewhere completely away from where I'm working. I'm actually working on top of my coal bunker. Go! And so yeah. And so, uh, quite annoyingly, let's flip back to me. Annoyingly, there was like three different hexagon nuts, bolts, to do all, three different sizes. So luckily I had an adjustable spot to do all them up. Hopefully I've done it all properly. And when I turn the gas on, it doesn't explode. So don't die. And if all this works, I will let you know why I've got a dog bolt. And so, as you can see, it's uh, all barred up. This end is maybe slightly too big for what I need. It is a bit of a beast, not gonna lie. It was a little bit scary when I first lit it, but it worked fine. As you can see, it's all nice and glassy. That should help the silver melt and fly around in there nice and easy. And now, to the dog bowl. I've got this, so I can flip full of sand, and then have my cuttlefish standing up in there, so I don't have to hold it. And also, if anything spills over, it will just spill onto sand, and It'll be fine. Now I'm using. Oop, don't know if you can see. Just some scrap silver I had. Uh, it's gonna. I'm going with six and a half grams at the moment. It might be last time I cast something I used way too much, so I don't know whether this will be too much or too little. Now unfortunately I can't show you me actually doing the pouring because I don't have someone to hold the camera for me. But basically I'll be heating the silver up until it's molten. And I'll just go bloop when it's done. And so I'll let you know how it is when I'm done. Oh, and this is my little pot of borax. You need borax powder to make everything super slidey and clean and lovely. Anyway, I'll let you know what happens. So, as you can see, this is my little sand castle. And there's the hole that I'm going to have to pour into. And now, I'm not saying that this is the best way of doing it. This certainly isn't. 
it's just a way of doing it and as you can see it's gonna hold that fairly steady steady enough for me to pour into and it's just sort of letting you know what sometimes we have to make up as we go along really so I've got my if I ever spill it it'll just go onto the sand no, nothing dangerous there got a metal dog bowl so that shouldn't melt any quickly however I have, this is a bit dangerous I've had to move from the top of the coal bunker down here because it is a bit windy and so this isn't ideal you really want to be standing up but I'm just gonna have to deal with it and hope this goes well now I am using the cuttlefish mold I don't think will work because I did the bar the wrong way and so I'm gonna try it anyway see what happens I mean if it fails too bad it wasn't gonna work anyway and I'll just re-melt the silver so that's what I'll try and do next is melt it down cast it and see what happens so I guess you'll either see a success or a failure or if this whole setup doesn't work I guess I'll let you know that and I'll try again another day when it's not so windy wish me luck and so as you can see no silver around However, there is a bit of silver on the top, so maybe I'll put slightly too much in or it didn't cast properly. But I'm going to let it cool down for a little bit. Hopefully, being out here didn't make it cool down too quickly, so I actually made it to the bottom of the cast. Although, like I say, I'm not hugely certain this cast will work because of the way I cut the mould. But let's leave it to cool down and see what we've got. Shake your hand, Cam. Let's see if I can cut this open one handed and see if we've actually got something. If my standing knife ever wants to work. Okay, so it might still be a little warm. Oh, apparently my standing knife blade is not as sharp as it once was. Do you know what? I'm going to cut it and then show you. Right, so that's it cut. And let's see if it worked. I'm voting no. Although it does feel warm down here, but that doesn't mean anything. Nope. So as you can see, that bar did not work because I cast it very, very wrong. But that's okay. But you can see how it went around and cast a little bit. So it started to cast the uh, bar, but it didn't quite get all the way. You can really see that texture you get from it. But yes, unfortunately, this one didn't work. And this is my first casting attempt since I left uni in... Well, it's my first casting since probably... September 2014 maybe, something around that, that, that. And if you can hear the wind, it's getting far too windy to try and do this again probably. And so I think it's always nice to show you times when things don't work. Um, I was halfway there, pretty much. Uh, I think the mould didn't really help. It will pour down one side, it should pour down two. Maybe with the other one I can make the funnel a bit bigger. Um, maybe make it just a bit bigger in general. I've put the bar the other way around, so that should help it flow down and around, hopefully. But yeah, apart from that, it's a bit disappointing, but hey, I can just melt it down and start again. It's beauty. Anyway, it's getting a bit dark, it's a bit grumpy, it's getting far too windy. Airplane! For me to carry on so if I had somewhere indoors to do this it might have worked a bit better as well because it wouldn't have cooled down quite so quickly but oh well I can only aim to try another day maybe so anyway back to another day oh if you're wondering it's because it smells bad and even though they're plastic it can't hurt just in case something spits protect your eyes safety first guys anyway I'm gonna get into the warm casting in winter in your garden not a good idea maybe I don't know why I'm smiling, you can't see how I'm smiling. I actually managed to find a much more secluded spot in my garden to do this in. Um, had my other torch out there, but as you can see, the silver is right on the top again. Which I get the feeling this hasn't worked. And I thought this one would work a bit more because the bar bit came up and down, so it should have gone straight down there. I opened up the, there was a much bigger funnel for it to go into. So I'm not sure why, if this hasn't worked, why it hasn't worked. Whether it is because I'm outside and it's cooling down too quickly as it goes in there. I don't know. 
Um, I guess we'll find out once I open it up to see if it actually has worked or not. But I don't think it probably has. I mean, it feels really hot down here where the piece should be. But again, I'll uh, cut it open and find out what's going on. So here we are, I've cut it open. Now let's see if we can prise it open and see what's happened in this one. Not an awful lot, apparently. So as you can see, the middle bar got cast there, but nothing to the left, uh, well, to the right, I guess. So this middle bar bit cast really well. For some reason, it doesn't get past there, and it didn't even flow down this side either, and I thought it would. Hmm, this is interesting. Um, maybe I just need to make them a lot bigger, because as you can see, they're not huge, it's not hugely thick. So maybe I need to make it a bit bigger, but that's a shame. I thought that one was going to work a bit better, actually. Oh well. I guess I'll uh, try again. So in the end, I think that maybe some of the pieces were a bit too thin, and it bottlenecked the silver, and that meant it cooled before it could flow through. I'm just going to try and make them a bit bigger, not too big, I don't want them too chunky. If not, I'll just have to find some other way of doing it maybe, maybe wax casting. But it should work. It's also nice to know that my um, new torch is hot enough to melt the silver. That's always a plus. Uh, it was actually very beast-like, I might actually have to get a slightly smaller nozzle. Or we'll try the jewelers one and see if that's a bit better. But yeah, it certainly works nice. So it's nice to know that I've got the process down, that I can actually melt the silver and pour it into the cuttlefish. And that it's casting somewhat, like I said, I think it's just maybe the conditions I was casting in maybe. Maybe the temperature outside was meaning it was cooling down a bit too quick as well. But you just got to work with what you've got. So, like I said at the start of this video, it didn't really have a happy ending. But it's not exactly a sad one. It's just what you have to do sometimes. And I thought it'd be nice to bring you a video where something hasn't succeeded again. Um, that's why I've sort of made this channel, is to show you what happens in the process of designing these things, trying new things out, and they don't always work. Um, you have to troubleshoot, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, like I say, try making some slightly bigger uh, moulds, see if that works, and hopefully try and find a better place to cast, although I'm not sure that I can. But yeah, once you just got to keep on problem solving these, um, and that's why I made the channel, just show you that there's a lot more that goes into jewellery than a lot of people seem to think. Some people seem to think it just pops out of thin air and there's not any hard work gone into it at all. So, oh, my jaw hurts. But yeah, so hopefully you can see the process I've been through. Um, I will get around to making another video, hopefully that showed me successfully casting. And, and then hopefully I'll have some of these ready with some, well, what I think, slightly more interesting buckles. I mean, if you like the plain buckle look, let me know. I can always make them. That's really, really quite easy. I just wanted to roughen it up a little bit, add a bit more of my style in there, but let me know what you think. Would you like to see something a bit more rough? Like, you kind of saw what I was aiming for with the cast I managed, because some of them cast a little bit, so you can kind of see what I was aiming for. Or do you prefer the cleaner look? Let me know. Um, I, like I said, I will bring you another video on my other cuttlefish casting, but let's say this is like part one, the development of my cuttlefish casting technique. I'm a little, I don't want to say upset, um, don't really want to say annoyed either, but you know what I'm aiming for. I'm a little disappointed that it didn't work, but you can't expect something to work straight away all the time. Like I say, you've got to, got to give a chance to learn, adapt, progress, and hopefully with the next few attempts I will crack it and I'll be able to show you guys, so keep an eye out for that. I think this video might be quite a monster long video, so if you made it this far, well done you. So let me know what you think about everything you've seen so far, maybe you have some suggestions on how I could do it better. Um, don't say, <laughs> like, you know, go into a proper workshop, I don't have that facility or access to one right at the moment. Um, I don't even have the money to pay for like one day in someone's workshop, unfortunately. But yeah, let me know what you think, your ideas, suggestions maybe. Um, tell me if you're liking the ideas I'm going through. If not, why not? If you do, why you do? Tell me if you want to see any more like plain ones. Um, let me know what else you think you'd like to see. Um, but yes, I'm going to leave it there. It's probably a very long video. So thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you liked it or disliked it. 
and I will be going. Sparks out. Package I ordered finally arrived, and you'll find out why I said that in just a second. It's so hot sitting in front of this makeshift ring light I made. Oh.